So hi guys, welcome to this YouTube channel. This is my sister Mkata. It's always today we have a, a guest on our channel. So kindly, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Consider subscribing. So welcome to this YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you for your time. So say hi to guys. Hello. So tell me more about yourself. Um, more about myself. And your name. Mm -hmm. My name is Sylvia. Sylvia, okay. yes. I work in Yoro. Yoro, where we are. Uh, we run a family business. Okay. Uh, and I met alongside my mother. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we are still, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nice. So when did you start this kind of family business? Um, it started about uh, over 25 years ago. Yeah. Uh, which kind of business? Um, the business is approximately about 25 years now. Yeah. Um, it started off as a, as a very small shop, Palachi, just across the road. Yeah. And it was run by my mama. Oh. And then after that, um, my mother finished her high school. She had to come in and now help. So she helped for a while, and then instead of being like a small mini mat, and, and then they had land on this side, they decided to take the chance of the plant and expand it. And over the years, this has been an over the year kind of transition. It's not big. So, and up until where we are. So what's your, what's your business um, vision in like five years to come? Um, I think we are quite an orthodox. Yeah. Uh, for us maybe like uh, we are thinking of having another one branch somewhere just um, somewhere close here. Yeah. And then maybe we venture to do something else while running the base. Um, not that we are scared of expansion and whatever. Yeah. Um, we also want to keep it small and family and so that it can go down generations and generations and you find sometimes like a multi, you know, something so big cannot, there are so many people involved so it cannot be entirely family. Yeah. yeah so we want to keep it close and family so that our children can get into it. I mean, everyone is going to buy sugar every day. So what are the challenges that you experience in this kind of business? Um, in fluctuation of prices. Um, I mean, when the prices go up and uh, everything has to go up, um, shortages of staff and you just don't even know how to explain to your customers. You don't know this oil. Because I can you know, so such things and the taxations are also very high. Yeah. You, 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 you find you are giving a lot of money still to the government, and you're still are supposed to keep afloat, yeah. pay your workers, pay the taxes. Yeah. You know, so I would say that is mostly the challenge. So, despite the challenges, what motivates you to keep going? I mean, they have a background anyway. Yeah. Um, where it began and where it is. So I am, I am always um, telling myself I need to take it to the next level. So that's what makes me wake up early. And also, so my children cannot can understand the value of working hard and always loving what you're doing. You you have to be in the shadow every single day so that tomorrow is happening. So. That is what makes me motivated. And plus, soft life. Yeah. We love the soft life. We so, love it. so if I don't work, how will I afford the soft life? <laughs> true, true, yeah. true. Yeah. So, um, how would you tell a young person who is jobless or another who has a uh, small cash and maybe he or she is wondering how do I start with this little cash that I have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like little cash. Yeah. Now why I 
I say that? Yeah. Um, my mother always tells me um, customers will come to the old shop. And uh, my, mother is, my mother is very chatty. Yeah. So, Kwanza they chat us to rolls, and then the customer is like, Aja, na, kona trito. To the next shop she buys, she brings for her customer. So you can imagine we didn't even have stock. But let me tell you, if you're enthusiastic about what you're doing, if it brings you happiness, there's no, there's no, there's no way it's any amount is kid over money. Because you move from that level, pole, pole, to pole, pole. I think young people of this space, this one, they think everything is just like that. It is never like just like that. Um, right? And so I, I think you should just do what you like, do what makes you happy, and have, enjoy it as you go. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that is so inspiring. So, do you do supplies to, um, how do you do it? Hello? Uh, we, we don't do, we are a retail shop, so we don't do a lot of um, like supplies. We want to take care of our customers individually. Um, because, you know, with suppliers, um, must be having a lot of turnover so yeah. that you can be able to stay, keep your product yeah. and then they take however it plays. We do it on a very small, kidogo percentage, yeah. just a couple of schools around, but uh, we prefer just to sell up to our daily customers so that you, you, so you, 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 you ta your turnover, yeah. your turnover is what makes you pay your checks, yeah. pay your suppliers, yeah. pay your workers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. So tell these people to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Link it up a chili. Link it go up a chili. And 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 work hard, enjoy everything that you're doing. Like she's enjoying what she's doing and that is why she's traveled so far to come yeah. and do this. Yeah. So so thank you, thank you guys, thank you for watching this video. So till next time in the next video, stay safe and bye. So say bye. Bye. <laughs>